They met on a rainy day in New Orleans and now run a family business in West Virginia called the Modern Homestead, overcoming adversity and discrimination along the way to make a love story for the ages. Take a look. I worked for a newspaper in Charleston Graphic Design, so I had seen his work come through the newspaper a lot, his product. So I was like, oh, this looks like really good. And so I started asking around who's who's designing this stuff, it looks nice. And I kept on hearing his name, Trellis did this, Trellis did this. So I asked some different people and they were like, oh yeah, he's a nice young guy. He was fun to talk to. It was nice just to meet someone else with different perspectives and different backgrounds and just different experiences. Whenever I met him in person, I think we both liked what we saw. Um, and then at the end of the meeting, Trellis offered to walk me to the car. It was pouring the rain down in New Orleans, so he offered to walk me to the car with his umbrella. And I had my own umbrella, but I had said, of course, I mean, if this guy is willing to, to be seen walking me down the street underneath an umbrella, that must mean that he's interested in me. We did the long distance thing for a while, which was stressful and different, but it was probably good for our relationship because at that point, Trellis had never dated anyone besides me. And that kind of scared me that I was his first and only. So it kind of provided an opportunity for him to sow his wild oats and get out and see what else was out there in the world and maybe appreciate me a little bit more at that point. Yes, I appreciate him immensely. <laughs> We got our kids, adopted our kids. Trey is the oldest. He's a private first class in the Marines. And Jacob is our youngest. He's 12. 12. So Trey's 20 and Jacob's 12. Is 11. he 12? He's 11. 11. He'll be 12 this year. <laughs> <laughs> I think what makes our story a modern love story is sort of a reflection of um, other relationships that exist in you know our community uh, with interracial gay couple with kids. So I think our relationship kind of reflects the new normal of relationships and family units around the country. Oh my gosh, please welcome to the show live, Lucas and Trellis. Yes, wow. I love your love. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So six months after you moved in together in New Orleans, Hurricane Katrina hit and uprooted your lives. How did the storm affect your relationship? Uh, it was really tough because um, our relationship was still new and then having to decide where to live and how to get your life back together. It was tough. So um, it took us a little bit to get grounded, but we wound up back together. You know, you've overcome so much adversity. Um, you know, it really is a testament to your love and resiliency, but how did you feel, um, or what was your reaction when the wedding venue canceled on you one week before your wedding because you were a gay couple? Um, well, of course we were angry. When I found out, Trellis got the news and then he called me and we probably went through every emotion within the first hour from disbelief to anger. Um, but then fortunately, since it was the week out, we didn't have time to dwell on that. And we know that we can't control other people and what other people think, but we can control what we do and what we think. So we got busy and our everyone chipped in and helped. And actually we didn't even tell our wedding guests that this is the case. We just notified them that the location changed because mm. Have to be the focus. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm having a, a visceral reaction because it just really gets to me when someone tries to victimize you and you have to shoulder not only how you react, but also have the narrative reflect something that's more aligned with who you truly are internally. So um, that is a strength that a lot of people do not have. Um, but this is actually a comeback story, if you will, because how did that experience with discrimination affect your own business? Well, well, I'll go first with that. But there was a, an old bill or an old um, church that connected to the back of our property that probably for about a year, Trellis had been asking, hey, can we buy this? I think it'd be great for our business. We can expand and do different things. And I kept on saying, no, I don't I don't want to do that. That's too much responsibility. But when we found out that our wedding was canceled, he looked at me and he said, you know, I have a solution for it. And then that's when he, yeah. we decided to put an offer in on it. 
a uh, very low offer <laughs> to make sure that we weren't over our heads. And then we went, got married, went on um, our honeymoon vacation and then got back and then they had ex- accepted our offer. And we've had it, you know, since 2007. Wow. And so this old church, I mean, it was, it had been closed up for several years. Like it hadn't operated since 1939 and the windows were busted out and boarded up. But we fixed it up and cleaned it up. And Trellis has done several weddings there where he's planned it for other couples. Wow. So guys, before we let you go, tell us a little bit more about your business, Modern Homestead. What do you guys do? Uh, we're located in uh, Reedsville, West Virginia, right outside of West Virginia University. We're a, a garden center, nursery. We also have guest houses that we rent out on Airbnb uh, and a little cafe along with our event space. Oh, amazing. Sounds Lucas beautiful. and Trellis, thank you so much for chatting with us. Happy Valentine's yes. Day. We'll be right back. Thank Bye, you. guys. Thank, thank you. you.